Welcome to another episode of What Did the Patients Say with Drs. Dana and Lauren Brindisi, sisters and owners of Carolina Functional Neurology Center. We are providing you answers to frequently asked questions and bringing you inside information from real conversations we have with patients on a daily basis. Our goal is to spread the truth on health and healing because we believe everyone deserves to know the answers. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Murray from Carolina Functional Neurology Center. I am one of our doctors in our Raleigh location. This is another episode of What Did the Patient Say? I am here with my amazing patient, Courtney, um, who has been so kind to share her story with us today and answer some questions. So welcome, Courtney. Thank you so much. Hi, thank you. All right. So the biggest thing I want to start off with is like, what brought you in? Like, tell us your story and what you're comfortable with sharing, but like, what symptoms are you dealing with? What brought you in to CFNC? Yeah, so um, in a couple years ago, right after COVID happened in 2021, um, I received um, the Pfizer vaccination. Um, I didn't want to take it, but I was in school full time and it was my last year and I was going to be graduating. So I had no option but to take it unless I didn't want to graduate. So I ended up taking the vaccine and two weeks later, um, after the first vaccination, I had my first ever urinary tract infection, um, which was really very painful. And I was like, what in the world is happening? So I went to urgent care, got that cleared up. And then about a month later, I went back for my second vaccination, um, not really thinking anything of it, like the urinary tract infection, like nothing would come back, like not really thinking anything like that. And I actually was fine. I didn't get sick like most people after the second vaccination. Um, but then it was two weeks and one day later um, that I um, had some crazy neurological episodes start happening. Um, I was with my um, boyfriend, who's now my husband. Um, at the time, we were in a um, at a park and um, we were eating some ice cream, I believe. And all of a sudden, I lost the ability to talk. Um, so I was um, unable to talk. I didn't know what was going on. I was really scared. I was trying to use hand motions and all these things, and nothing was working to communicate with him. And he finally was just like, okay, we need to get you home like ASAP. So we drove home. Um, I started tremoring a little bit. Like my left hand would start moving up and down randomly. Um, I went to the hospital um, after I got home and ruled out all major symptoms of like stroke and things like that. Um, so anyway, to make a long story short, went home from the hospital the next day um, and nothing was ruled out. I was just sent home with no answers. Um, so came home later that day, I lost the ability to talk again. Um, I lost the ability to walk and then my full um, body, like my whole body just started tremoring. Like, it was really scary. Um, I was pretty much out of control, really scary, like my whole family. Um, and it was really scary for me, of course, as well. So we went back to the hospital and more tests were run, no answers. And so this story continues to where like I've had more symptoms than the three I just mentioned, um, countless pretty much, there's so many. Um, and they just continued and continued and no doctor could ever tell me what was going on. And so I knew that there had to be some answers somewhere. So we started doing research and um, we found Carolina Functional Neurology Centers. And I actually started seeing Dr. Moret about a year ago now. Um, and it was after I had already started some other functional medicine with another doctor. So I was already on a detox diet. I was already starting the path to recovery. There were still a lot of key parts that were missing because I was still having these various neurological symptoms that were not stopping. And so um, finally found Carolina Functional Neurology and that's how, <laughs> that's how I found you guys. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, <Okay. laughs> long answer. <laughs> yeah, when we met, you were doing a lot of this functional medicine stuff, but still that like the neurological piece of the puzzle was still left to be addressed. Yes. So yes. What, if you can kind of like describe your treatment, like I know uh, we did a lot, we did a lot of different things, but like yeah. describe the treatment that we did here in your perspective and then kind of what your experience was as a patient. So from the new exam process, if you wish. 
Okay. Okay. So when I first got to Carolina for personal neurology, um, goodness, they, Dr. Moret took me through like this program of like what we were going to do. And at first I was like, okay, this sounds awesome. And then I got really scared. Cause like a lot of it was like crazy, like what sounded like crazy things at the time. I was like red light therapy, like what in the world is that? <laughs> and so anyway, but to make, um, many stories and long stories short, um, I, when I first heard about like everything that you guys were going to take me through, um, I was excited because you guys had a lot of confidence and I knew that I was going to be in the right place for treatment. Um, I had heard like hyperbaric oxygen therapy was a great thing for me to do. Um, and it just hadn't been an option before for me because there's no one local to my area um, that did that. So I, by coming up to the neurology center, I was able to do that. Um, and then the red light therapy, um, was helpful. And then what was the latter part of the question? Sorry. <laughs> uh, like your experience and some of the things that we did and I can obviously, okay. We, I can obviously speak to some of the stuff we did too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we've done, um, so one of the things I think was the craziest thing, um, but also the coolest, um, <laughs> is, uh, the eye movements that you guys took me through. Um, because I had, even though I have a medical, like, Back, like a health background, like in my career field, I didn't know how much the eyes relate to healing the brain. And I was like, this is so interesting. And so throughout my treatment with you guys, just learning how much eye movements and how fatiguing it can be um, to retrain your eyes has been something so like important and so evident to me that has helped me so much that I never in a million dreams would have thought I would have been doing eye exercises at neurology. Like that's just so wild to me. But um <laughs> but that along with like um what's the thing called that you guys used on my the nerve stimulator. The nerve stimulator, yeah the nerve stimulator on my tongue and my temple or whatever you guys put it. I don't even know. Um uh, has been really cool to see as well. So, and then um, I think we did metronome too. So helpful yep. with that. And another interesting thing I didn't ever knew like rhythm and coordination would play so vitally into my healing process because like the couple weeks after I started doing that, I started noticing some pretty big changes. So mm -hmm. I remember that. Um, and then that's good. You're experiencing those changes and overall experience going through treatment, after treatment, stuff like that. Yeah. So my experience going through treatment was amazing. And it was a lot of fun because I had Dr. Moret and I feel like we just clicked just like a lot. Um, we would crack up in the sessions. We'd also like be really serious at times to like try to figure things out. Like it was a good like medium between both things um of course obviously i'm there for my healing and honestly i can attest that i have tremendously felt so much better um and my experience like as i continue to go see them um has just been top-notch phenomenal honestly and i recommend them to a lot of people so <laughs> it's great i appreciate it um, a big thing that we get asked, like, especially on like initial consults or even on like when we're reviewing cases with our patients, they're like, what, like, do people get success and like how much success do you have and what does success look like? And I like to explain to everyone like, well, success is so different, right? And like progress looks so different in what capacity and what that looks like for other people because other everyone has different goals, different systems, and also like different injuries and different reasons why they're coming in. But if you can kind of give a percentage and I like on how much um, improvement you've made up to this point and like how you're feeling today and like what maintenance looks like for you. Okay. So success for me. Um, I was hoping, and we all hope this, that it's a short, easy, like route, like you get to the finish line super quick, but that's not what it looks like for me or for most people, probably. Um, for me, um, I, once I started my first, I believe it was, what was I there for the first time? Eight, six weeks or eight weeks? How long was I there? Eight, I think it was six weeks. I think weeks. you were between six to seven weeks of our Six to seven yeah, weeks. Roughly. Okay. Yeah. So I, I went every week for six to seven weeks. And after those initial seven weeks, I felt a huge difference. Like I could tell 
my body was starting to get back to normal, but there were still some pieces that weren't quite fitting. And so I would continue to go um, back for appointments. I think it was like monthly, maybe every other month. I'm not exactly sure. I know we did some telehealth as well through that time. Um, and so my success, I was hoping like I would be done after the six weeks. I'd feel great. Not the case. I hear, I here I am a year later and I have just finished going back after a recent flare up. Um, and it's been really cool because every flare up I have, Dr. Moret has been there and like able to help and, um, you know, like able to give me different exercises for my eyes or what I should be eating or how I should be, you know, what I should be doing first thing in the morning or last thing at night, like what medicines I should, what supplements I should take. Um, and so every step of the way has been there. And with each new symptom, it's like not necessarily new. They're the same symptoms, but come and go. And so with each symptom, there's always something that's it like, can be a little fixed and critiqued. And so it's nice to know that she's there and I'm not after each, each session, I'm not like gone. Like I can always come back. And that's something that's really helpful because as this journey progresses and I continue to get better, it's, um, it's encouraging to know that I have people there for me. So. Yeah, that's something I like to tell patients is, you know, that initial phase is that acute phase. We're getting things under control. And I think we did some more treatment. And then yeah. the goal yeah. is to kind of move into that check in phase over time, you know, when it's appropriate for that person. And for some people, that's quicker than others. And then, you know, after a certain point, like that neuroplasticity is built, but with kind of chronic um, autonomic symptoms, chronic illnesses, stuff like kind of your case as well is it's a marathon it's definitely not the sprint that we all want right <laughs> and the goal is to make these flares small few and as far between and Absolutely. so that you can you can manage it yourself and if you need like management from us like we're there to help and, right um with, and that's yeah, yeah that's with your case thing, yeah that i've gotten a lot better the flares I, like i'm able to know when they're coming and i'm able to like avoid them if I can. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And like, even with your recent flare, you didn't need a whole bunch of treatment again. You're just, it was like, yeah. you know, just a brief couple sessions. I was like, right back on track. Okay. Here we yeah. go. And I tell people <laughs> that all the time is the sooner we can react and the sooner we could take a look at what's maybe different. Cause a year later out of treatment, your brain is different. The, the quicker it is to adjust and the less you'll have to see us and back on your way. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Well, and so maintenance, obviously, um, like you said, you have your exercises, you're doing stuff with like your diet and supplements and stuff. So, um, but that's awesome. Anything else you want to add for everyone? Um, honestly, you have the chance to come here and you are struggling with like vaccine related injuries, especially they are like, like, I'm very passionate about that. I, um, I'm really, really like, it's just amazing. Like, it's just amazing what they've done for me because I know so many people are struggling with vaccine related injuries. Um, and even not from the co from having COVID. Um, and it's just, it's just amazing what I have been able to heal from. Um, it's like a complete 360, honestly. So. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Courtney. Thank you so much for sharing. Your yes. Story. Thank you. And Thank you for joining us. And for anyone who's listening, if you got questions or comments or anything about what we do, what we can offer and the services at Carolina Functional Neurology Center, or if you want more content like this, please feel free to like leave a comment on our social media or reach out to one of our offices. We're always trying to produce more content and the, like the content you see on our website, the content you see on our social media, like those are the doctors behind the scenes, like helping to educate and empower people um, who are reading it and our patients ourselves. So please feel free to reach out to us, like, comment, share all those things. Um, and let us know what other um, topics you want us to chat about on this channel. So, but thank you so much, Courtney. And thank you so much, everyone.